Hey beauties, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Victoria Lynn, and today we're going to be playing with the Kylie Cosmetics Birthday Collection. So this collection was launched for Kylie's 21st birthday, and all of these products and like everything in this collection, by the way, there are so many things in this collection, it is crazy, it is insane insane. I think that all of these products are definitely giving off that 21 vibe. It is such a fun looking collection. When I first saw it, I needed it in my life. Like I said that about a lot of collections, but this one especially because the packaging was just so, so cute. Like she's eating a donut that says get lit. I just think it is so cute. And I really like the packaging on a lot of these products. The outer look of them really intrigued me to want to know more, want to see more of the products. This packaging here was very intriguing with the glitter eye. When I see something shiny, I need it. And I had to get these. So I did get all three of the glitter eyes and I did get a lot of pieces from this collection. It was a very large collection. I believe the bundle that you can no longer purchase, I think it's sold out, was about $400. So I didn't purchase every single thing from the collection, but I did purchase majority of it. And I think you guys will really enjoy this video because I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the collection, what I love, what I think that you should pick up. I'm really excited to share all of that with you guys today. We have a pink and purple vibe going on with these eyes and these lips. Definitely something that I would wear like anytime. I'm all about these pinks and purples. It's very 21. The vibe is just fun and I love it. I love the bright colors. I think it is so cute. I think she looks so pretty in all of these pictures and I just love it. Her party looked really fun too and her dress. I loved her outfit, the glitter outfit, the bodysuit that she had on love. For my 21st, I was at Halloween Horror Nights in Universal, and I usually go there for my birthday every year, and it was really fun. That's why I did for my 21st. I did get a drink. I think I got a rum, like a rum punch. It was gross. I'm actually turning 23 in October, so fun fact, if you guys didn't know that about me, I'm 22. So I hope you guys like this look I got going on. If you do like it, be sure you like this video. That really helps me out, and don't forget to subscribe right now. Smash that subscribe button. You know you want to. And if you want to see more videos, then be sure you smash it. Do it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial today. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, you guys. So let's take a look at the Sipping Pretty palette. This is such a pretty, just like the name, eyeshadow palette. The colors inside are very much so like kind of a mixture of brights but also some neutrals as well. If you guys wanna check out the swatches of these shades, then be sure to follow me on IG, at Victoria Lynn. That's where I do all my swatching and it will be in my highlights. So definitely check that out if you're interested in seeing the swatches. In the promo pics, the packaging did look a bit more durable and I thought it would be like maybe something new, but it's actually very classic to all of her palettes. So if you have any of them, then you know how this feels. It's like the bronze palette, the nice palette, any of those palettes, it feels like just like that pretty much. There is a nice big mirror inside, which I really love. I like using mirrors that are in my palettes because everything is there, it's like super easy so there is a mirror inside I like it and as far as the color story goes in this palette all of these shades are just really fun to me I love all the brights of course the purples the blues the reds the pinks are like everything but I really like how there are some neutrals in here and there is like a black to deepen up the look and there is actually this like gunmetal color there is so many different variations of shades in here that I feel like you can get some really diverse looks out of a palette like this because there are so many options to choose from. All right, you guys. So as always, I'm going to be priming with the Urban Decay Eden Primer, and I'm just going to be using this to prime for the shadow. And this is my all-time favorite eyeshadow primer. I literally don't do an eye look without this primer. It is the best. And if you have oily eyelids, this is like a dream come true. So I'm just going to go ahead and place that on the lid and then blend out with a pretty big brush. So the first shade I'm going to go into is this hot pink and it's called Pretty. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go ahead and blend it into my crease. So I'm just going to pat, pat, pat this color into the crease to keep that pigmentation nice and high on this color so we don't blend out too much of the color on it. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend it in the inner portion of the eye. This is when you realize that your brush had a little bit of purple on it. That's why one of my eyes is a little bit purple, the other one's pink. Yeah, that's where I screwed up. I'm gonna try to layer some more of this pretty on top of it so that I can get it to be more of a pink and not a purple on this eye. So 
So now I'm going to grab the shade Mimosa and close the tab, and I'm going to use this to deepen up the outer corner of the eye. I'm going to pick up this shade, RSVP, and I'm just going to use MAC Fix Plus to spritz the brush. And I'm just going to apply RSVP all over the lid. And this is such a pretty purple. I am in love with this color. It is definitely a metallic color. And when you wet your brush, it just brings out all of the glitter that's in it. So I would definitely recommend wetting the brush. So with this collection, Kylie launched these, and I believe these are the glitter eyes. That's what she calls them. And this packaging, once again, is so cute. If you put all three of them together, then you see the whole picture. And I love these Stila Magnificent Metals. If you guys have tried those, they are by far my favorite glitter like ever. I love, love those. The reason I really like them is because they are super glittery, but they're really easy to apply. And these really remind me of those a lot. So she launched three of these and I think all the colors are super pretty, but I do feel like some of them sparkle a little bit more than others, and I'll show you. These are all three of the shades. They're right here. We have like a greenish brown, a purple, and then a pink. So I did buy all of these because to me, I use stuff like this all the time on my lid. I love liquid eyeshadows so much, and I really wanted these colors because they looked so pretty. So here is Eat Cake. This is a beautiful, almost like similar to like the orgasm blush if you've tried it, it's like a peachy kind of pink golden color and I love this. I think it's gorgeous. This is called Born to Sparkle. This is by far my favorite one out of all three. When you put a light on this, it is in incredible the glitter in this is so beautiful it sparkles so so much and you really can't get like the justice of it on camera but in person it is gorgeous and it's like an olive kind of brown green and this one i'm going to be using today it's called fine wine this is the purple one and this is also very beautiful you can see how reflective those are and i love popping colors like this on the lid just to kind of make everything a little bit more pop in. We love to glitter ourselves up on this channel, so that's just what we do. That's what I like to do. So I'm going to take fine wine and I'm going to go ahead and place this all over the lid. I thought about doing a wing with this, but I kind of just want to go ahead and put this all over my lid. I'm just going to tap out the corner of that with my finger can definitely do like a half cut crease with these because they are very pigmented and this looks so beautiful over that purple shadow. All right, so now I'm going to grab the shade Blackout right here in the corner. This is the matte black in the palette and I'm going to go ahead and use that to deepen up the outer corner. I'm just going to go ahead and circle that into the outer corner. And then I just lightly brought it right into the crease, so I just kind of blended it right in. I am taking a little bit of the shade RSVP, which is that purple shadow, and I'm placing it right in between the black and the glitter eyes shadow to blend everything. Just so the black has more of like a gradient fade and it's not just like black. And then purple. All right, so I'm gonna go pop on some mascara and lashes, and then we can finish off the eyes by doing the lower lash line. All right, so for the lower lash line, I'm gonna pick up the shade Pretty, and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in. And I want the lower lash line to be pretty soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and soften out the pink, really blend it out. And now I'm going to grab the shade RSVP and apply that along the lower lash line. I'm just going to keep it pretty close to the lash line just so it has like that hint of purple.
I'm so excited to try the Champagne Showers highlighter. So I really liked the Wet Set from Kylie Cosmetics and I do like her highlighters too. So I am really excited to try this on the face. It looks like a really pretty like champagne and that's what it's called, Champagne Showers. So hopefully it is kind of like a shade you can wear for every day because I usually go for like champagne golds. And this packaging for the Champagne Showers highlight is so cute. I love this. Literally makes you want to eat like a huge donut. All right, so let's test this out. Wow, okay. So I can definitely see the color is such a beautiful like champagne kind of gold color is a bit warm. Oh my gosh, I love this color. I think it is so, so pretty. And I feel like because it has like that golden tone to it, it would look beautiful on a vast amount of different complexions and skin tones. You guys see that? I did not even have to like wet my face with Fix Plus or anything. It just applied so nicely. I really, really like it. So for the lipsticks, you guys know how much I love the actual lipstick tubes that Kylie launches. So I got three of them. I think there was about five. And I told myself that I was not going to get all of the lipsticks because I don't need them. Like seriously, she came out with so many lipsticks for this collection. And I was like, what are the ones that I would wear with like anything? That's basically what I bought. So I'll show you guys how pretty these colors are. So we have the shade August and this was the lightest one out of all of them. I feel like this is like a perfect nude color that you could wear with any eye look. It would go with a bronze look, with this look, with pretty much any look, even like a smoky look. This is a very pretty nude shade. I got the shade Glam and I think this is such a pretty pink color. I feel like it's a wearable pink. It's not too, too pink. And I would love to wear something like this with like a bronzy eye as well. I think it's gorgeous. And this color of pink is probably my favorite. And I think that this color is a universal pink. It looks good on almost everyone. The last shade I got is Flirtini. And this is a really pretty pinky nude color. Once again, very wearable. It would go with pretty much any look. And this is kind of like a your lips but better color. I just love it. I think it is so pretty. What I also really love about these is that the tubes don't really correspond to the colors. So you think, oh, this is a blue lipstick or this is a pink or an orange one. But really, it's just kind of like a fun little twist on the lipstick itself. So it does have that birthday theme because they're all really, really bright. I just like the lipsticks that are bright because when they're in your purse, you can grab for them and you know exactly where they are. They're not like lost amongst the other things in your purse. So when I have a bright lipstick, it is a good day because I can find it and it's easy. So this is my 21 collection look. I hope you guys love this tutorial. I hope you enjoy all the products. And now I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on everything, what I think you should buy, what I think you could skip on. So let's begin. Sipping Pretty Palette. The color story is very pretty. It is something that I personally really love because I love bright colors and I like there's a variation of brights and neutrals in this palette so a lot of people can kind of try this palette out and experiment with these other colors that they normally don't wear but they also have their nudes and bronzes to fall back on. I do think this is a very pretty palette but it is $65 that is very expensive. We're getting into luxury makeup when we kind of cross over into the 60s. I could recommend it to those of you who don't have a budget and you would like to purchase a palette from Kylie Cosmetics. This one is very, very pretty and I do like that there are 21 shades. There are so many shades to choose from. I also think that these liquid eyeshadows are like equally as beautiful, if not more. So with any Kylie palette that you have, I mean, you could pop this one on top or this one or this one it is going to transform that look into this beautiful metallic dream. And I am so obsessed with all of these colors, but the one I used today was called Fine Wine. And I really like this over all the pink colors. So if you do have a pink palette, you could easily recreate this look if you did get this. So these glitter eyes are $20 each. So that is still expensive, but I do feel like they perform very similar to the Stila Magnificent Metals the glitter and glow shadows or the liquid shadows that Stila makes, these are very, very similar to those and they do feel just like them. So I would recommend these because you could put these over any palette, over any shadow and they look 
beautiful. So I really, really love these. These were my favorite thing from the collection. And you could even wear these by themselves. You could literally swipe this all over the lid and just blend it out with your fingertips. That's how I like using liquid shadows and you're good to go. Or you can do like a half cut crease like I did today with one of these and they work so amazing. So as for the lipsticks, I bought these three and I love them. I think they're all very pretty. I have on Glam right now. And these colors are shades that I do normally reach for. She did come out with a red and also like a deeper berry color for these lipsticks for the 21 collection, but I wanted to pick the ones that I knew I was gonna wear and like wear with like anything. And these shades are gorgeous, pinky nude colors. So the one I have on is pink, but the others I would say are kind of like pinky nudes. And they are gorgeous, very pigmented, literally one swipe pigmentation, creamy. And I would totally say that these lipsticks are really, really good. I really liked them and Glam was probably my favorite one out of all three of these. So the Champagne Showers highlight I did really enjoy. I think this is a beautiful color and this is a color that I would wear like on a daily basis. It has no duochrome to it. It doesn't have any glitter in it. So it is a very wearable everyday highlight and I do like that it has that golden tone to it. So it brings like a lot of warmth to the skin if that makes sense. So it's not like an icy highlight. This is a pretty big pan as well. I was going to mention that this is a very large highlighter and I do like the size of it. I think that overall this highlighter worked really well for me and I do recommend it if you are looking to purchase any of Kylie's highlighters. This one and the wet set have been my favorite. All right, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial today and I hope it was helpful to some of you. I know these collections can get really expensive and that's why I'm here. I purchased probably around $200 worth of this collection and I did really enjoy most of it and I'm glad I could share the items with you guys I did enjoy so I can help you out so you know what you should get and what you can probably skip out on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. If you did enjoy it, be sure you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and to watch my videos on my channel. That means so much to me and I just want to thank you very quickly for doing that because it means a lot, a lot to me and I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I will see you in my next tutorial. the waves cut through me hypnotized by the sounds i'm breathing and hold tight